Welcome back everyone, Christine here on Serious Gaming, continuing my playthrough of KOTOR 2. I am going to head over uh, to uh, Andron in order to find the one of the last two uh, Jedi Masters. Th this uh, playground, it has the Droid Planet mod that's available on the Steam launch. I'm surprised that the Geno Haradan is not available here. I remember playing the Sith Lord's Restoration mod before the Steam version of KOTOR 2 came out. And it did have the Geno Haradan on Arshada. Fairly unfinished though. Well, this is Onderon. It looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. If they decide to do a cargo search, we're gonna be in trouble. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin, patching it through. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. Well, we've taken some hits. We can try to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. I'll mandatory just keep her steady. Yeah, let's destroy some Onderon. Are those capital ships firing at each other? Those are Republic ships, firing at each other. Not really, I guess they're not cruisers, but still, they're capital ships. There we go, another one that fights us. Fighters, uh, starfighters don't have shields in this era. At least most of them don't, I think. I can't keep us in one piece much longer. Sorry to spoil your fun, but we've got to land now. I'm gonna put us down on that jungle moon. <laughs> you just wave through capital ships firing at each other. Welcome to Duxon. You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no, if it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. I remember the days when welcoming committee used to mean something, without being followed by blaster bolts. How badly is the ship damaged? It's taken a little damage, nothing too serious. I'm shutting down all unnecessary systems until we make repairs. It'll keep us from being a target. Any idea where we are? Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon, where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. We should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. 
What now? Well, the space battle's still going on overhead. Since they were so eager to use our hull for target practice, I doubt they're just gonna forget us. Well, I don't like it. Onderon is about as far from the core as you can get and still be in the Republic. But even out here, the locals have heard of us. We're lucky I was able to find this place to land. Looks like something has cleared away the jungle in a few spots around here. We need to get to Onderon. Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is... something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. Let's head to the outpost, then. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. She fought here once, and there are things here she must see. She fought here? Why didn't she say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget? Because this place was a slaughter. Do you really want to hear everything that happened in the Mandalorian Wars? I think Kandorus was pretty damn clear as to how the Mandalorians fought their wars. They used weapons of mass destruction in infantry battles. Infantry. The amount of butchery that took place in the Mandalorian Wars, well... Let's just say... It wouldn't be surprising if Revan had just gone f fucking insane after a horror he had experienced. Yes. Very. Uh, I mean, I guess I could... No. There's nothing... There is still the listening aspect about the Force, I suppose, but... I'm not yet ready to deal with that. My life. I could take Visas, I suppose. That would work. Query. Let me think. Yes. I'm not taking Deodor until I have another lightsaber. I guess I'm uh, guessing I'm gonna take Mikal and Kreia. Or actually, Beodor seems like a reasonable choice in us. Mainly because this is where Mandalorian War started. Actually, I'll remove Kreia for a second and add her. Let's go. Just so I can steal her lightsaber and give it. Okay, long sword. That should do. Yeah, he's gonna get that lightsaber. Let me level him up. Attributes. He probably needs higher. Well, his constitution could use a boost, I suppose, as well. Well, for a moment, I'm just gonna increase his dexterity. Only to 12, though. Don't wanna go too far with that. Right. Possibly could use higher demolition as well. I mean, I'll use Kreia over here, obviously. The problem with Beodor is that he's really useless because of his armor problems. I mean, you can't even use the heaviest possible armor in the bloody game to begin with. Uh huh. Oh, wait, I need a hard level. I mean, I'm gonna make him a single target type guy. Only my main characters, Matt and Thesis, all that. But not everyone's gonna be able to really do a wield. Just not enough lightsabers to go around, and I don't wanna combine the two. Mainly because of stats that come along with that. Well, My specific. life is yours. Now, I need to decide whether or not I want to keep his armor. I don't think even his... Uh,
No, night armor is not gonna do it here. I need very... Yeah, not gonna work. Could just use the clothing, I suppose. Yeah, reinforced fiber armor. All right, I'm gonna switch to the clothing. I hear you. Yes. And yes, that's gonna make him yes. a lot weaker than other characters. Oh, well, if I ever need someone to sneak around and be inconspicuous, there's always Kreia. I mean, she even says it herself. <laughs> okay, gonna increase her. Uh, Let me go with computer use for her. Probably don't need much other skills. Uh, this is pretty useless. Force barrier just sounds like a fucking useless ability. Okay, so max out that chain lightning. I mean, legitimately, it seems very useful, useless because what are you gonna do with it, really? I'm gonna increase her toughness. It's like eight damage. It points of damage or is it huh I guess it's for individual attacks on well, then well I was looking at it the wrong way I was thinking that it would it would go down once you you know you Once you experience the, those first bits of damage. Uh, saves, dexterity, that should do. Okay. Let's go. Yes. I could use more. Okay, more persuade, more treat injury. Power wise, maybe. Maybe master improved energy resistance would do the trick. Alright, welcome to the shithole that is Duxon. I legitimately hate this one. So maybe it's the other way that I need to go. I'm just lowering this a bit. Okay, let's see what's there. Oh, kind of dog. If I remember, these things are famed for... News. The space battle is still going on. The Hawks sensors just picked up a contact heading to the moon. Most of the ship's systems are powered down, so it's about all I got. That ship may have landed nearby, though. Or it may be on the other side of the moon. So you might want to prepare for another friendly Onderon welcome. Ah! Let's just end this.
Well, the remote can't be repaired, but they can't die either. You just get, have to get used to the idea. Oh, I actually can repair the droid. Not worth it. I mean, I guess there is some experience in doing this. Experience for parts. How do you like that? Ah! Right, more experience. Detonator gloves. Old Republic combat droids. Orbital fighting just ended. That Colonel Tobin stirred up a Minox nest when he took a shot at us. I'm still working on the repairs, and I have to take down some systems, including sensors. So you have to do without me for a while. I know, you're crushed. Doros? What happened here? Wait, that didn't give me any experience. Oh, interesting. Okay, that wasn't necessarily worth it. I didn't start this paper. The what do you mean? Who are you? Why are we hunting me? Or a pub, a slaughter, or a public one. Very well. That's just one part. That's this is the intro sequence of the moon, going a lot faster than I remember it being. To be fair. Uh, maybe because back then I didn't abuse the fuck out of the speed buff. You let the ship escape? 
I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. If you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. Why? Just why are they here? I barely fucking arrived. Piss off. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. <laughs> You know, maybe the reason Obsidian removed all these HK counters is just because it's a fucking annoyance to deal with. Doesn't change a damn thing. You're gonna smash through these guys with ease with any party that's worth a damn. Stop. That is not the skeletal remnant of a war long past. That is a recent kill. It appears that Duxon isn't as abandoned as we would be led to believe. Why would the Mandalorians return here? The past has a curious attraction to us all. Perhaps he came in a small shuttle to revisit old battlegrounds. Perhaps not. But let us press forward. You may find the answers you seek. Okay. Let's see what he has. Hmm. Let's try the thorium charges, I guess. That didn't work, clearly. Maybe Bayodor can do it? I hear you. Let me handle this. What is with Mandalorians in this damn fucking moon? We claimed this moon decades ago, when we reforged ourselves after Exar Kun's defeat. Some of us call it home. Why are you trespassing here? <laughs> yeah, let's not be a cunt. Our ship crashed and we were forced to land here. We expected as much. Few visit Duxon by choice. We have orders to escort you to our camp. Our leader wants to speak to you. This may prove of use to us. Let us hear his words and see if they hold any value. I'm not finished exploring yet. You are 
coming with us. I'm supposed to escort you peacefully, but the alternative is quite acceptable. So your choice is, follow us as our guest, or see how Mandalorians have earned their reputation. Take me to the camp. So you're the intruder. Our sensors picked up your handiwork in space. I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. I thought the Mandalorians were disbanded. They're scattered perhaps, but we're still alive. Alive and rebuilding. The only Mandalorians I've seen are thugs. Many Mandalorians have fallen from the path of honor and are now no more than common mercenaries. But that is changing. What is this place? This used to be the heart of the Mandalorian war effort. From this complex we commanded an armada that had the Republic on the run. It didn't last. Why did you lose, Duxon? Mandalorians have a rapport with this jungle. Every moment here is a struggle. All creatures gripped in a constant war for survival. The sole purpose of the weak is to feed the strong. We train here and learn the lessons of the jungle. The beasts also help us keep our edge. Okay. Oh, lose that son. What the hell did I say? Anyway. Your camp looks like it's seen better days. The covert camps are not meant to attract attention. Because we conquered them, the people of Onderon still hold a grudge against the Mandalorians. So we keep our presence here a secret. Why did he... Oh, did he use... Mandalorians have a rip... The soul... Okay, uh, I'm trying to get to Onderon. Do you know how we can get there? So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Onderon military blockade. I make occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. If you want to go with me, you're going to have to prove your worth. How can I prove myself? Well, figure it out yourself. Ask around. See if you can make yourself useful. Or something that'll show what you're made of. So there's nothing you can think of? There is one thing. Before your ship landed, we were preparing some demolition work. All the activity forced my men to stop before they finished. The charges need to be detonated before anybody comes across them, so all you'd have to do is flip a switch. That sounds too easy. You asked if there was anything you could do, and I told you. Nothing in this jungle is as simple as it seems, though. What were you going to blow up? We were trying to uncover the entrance to a hidden cache of old Mandalorian equipment. The explosives should be easy to find. Just get to it before the Canucks do. Caches were Tarindum. The last months before Duxon fell, the old Mandalore knew that Revan and the Republic were gaining the upper hand. He ordered our best engineers to hide caches of weapons and munitions throughout the moon, safely away from the enemy's hands. Why didn't the Republic just dig them out? Don't you think they tried? It's real easy to hide things in a jungle. Even when they found some of our caches, our engineers left them some presents. How big are the caches? They're not much more than a couple of plasteel cylinders. Before you get any bright ideas, if you uncover cache B-13, leave it alone. Even if you survive the traps, it would require military-grade explosives to open without the proper access codes. What's inside belongs to the Mandalorians. How would the 
Canucks be a problem? Well, Canucks are nothing more than pests, but they have a real talent for screwing up plans. Just get to those explosives in the next day or so and you'll be fine. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you. What do you want? When you were last here, you probably didn't even go to Onderon. The Republic knew that Onderon's fate would be decided on its jungle moon, not the planet itself. To begin with, when you talk about Onderon, you're really talking about the ancient walled city of Isis. It's the only inhabited settlement on the planet. It depends on who you ask. Queen Talia rules from the royal palace, but her cousin, General Vaklu, has a great deal of power in Isis as well. They disagree about many things, just like their citizens. We fought General Vaklu during the war, and he is a worthy adversary. Queen Talia is young and hardly a match for him. Onderon is a recent addition to the Republic, joining during one of the darker eras in Republic history. Since joining, the Republic has endured many wars and great battles. The people of Onderon don't possess the resolve and strength needed in these times. Many of them want to break away from the Republic. They want to go back to an earlier age when they could cower behind their walls. Their spinelessness made them easy to conquer. It's Mandalorian business, not yours. I could, but I don't know you. Once I get to know you, I might tell you more. But not now. I don't blame you. There are sad people. I have some things to look into. I'll talk to you later. What do you want? Well, you know what I want, and I'll use a stealth field generator to do it, assuming I have one. Uh, there we go. Obviously, I'm stealing from Mandal Mandalore himself, which is not a wise idea. Anything I can help with. This jungle attacks anything made by man. Restoring the generators and computer systems is no easy task. I've had some practice restoring computer system, if you need a hand. I'll take whatever help I can get. Whatever wires and tech haven't been corroded by the jungle are at least ten years old. What's the problem? I'm trying to get the relay dish operational, but several components are broken and need repair. Without the relay, we're vulnerable to attack, especially right now. Your space metal may have attracted unwanted attention, and our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole moon. 
Ah, oh, seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. I've been trying to fix it for weeks and still no success. I can take a look at it, if you will permit it. If you think you can help, there's the broken cables right over there, and the relay maintenance structures behind me. You can find the telemetry computer in there. The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. That part's rare enough in most spaceports. Finding one here would be difficult. We actually already found one in an old weapons cache, but flaming Canox ate it. That's a problem with Canox. They'll leave you alone if you keep your distance. But if you turn your back on the pests, they'll eat anything they can get in their mouth. Just gut every canok you come across. You wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little beasts. We checked the cash manifests, and that's the only one that was in storage. It's probably the only working converter on this moon. Just gut. All right, then. Come back when you have the converter and we can see about getting these systems working again. Damn it. J what do you want? Ah, just you. You're no Mandalorian. I don't know why Mandalores let you roam free, but I don't trust you. I'm Kex, the new Quartermaster. If a Mandalorian needs something, they come to me. Mandalores ordered me to let you have access to our supplies, including some military-grade surplus. It's not free, though. You can pay with credits or trade in some of your gear. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I do. I don't know why Mandalore would let some outsider roam around our camp without an escort. If it were up to me, you would have been shot on sight. Mandalore must think you're something special. I won't, as long as the Mandalore's orders stand. If he wants you dead, though, then I'm gonna be the first one gunning for you. Well, that's actually a useful one. Mandalorian Blaster, Mandalorian Heavy Blaster, Longsword, Repper, Battle Armor, all that kind of stuff. For now, probably not gonna bother too much with any of this. Let me just check my guns, actually. Let's see what kind of guns I have.
Let's go. Careful when you ridicule. 
Mandalore. Oh. Mandalorian. If Mandalore hadn't ordered us to... Is there anything else you want to talk about? You are new here, so you will fight Davril. He is young and has not been able to prove himself in battle. Devril, what are your terms? No weapons, no Jedi tricks, and no items. Just fist and foot. A true test of strength. Put your weapon away, Jedi. Don't step out of the circle and pull any death blow. No one dies in the battle circle. Step into the battle circle. Now you will experience a true fight. Ah! <gasps> The match between Jedi and Davril is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. Davril is just a recruit. I'm not surprised you won this fight. A challenger has expressed interest in fighting you. As little honor as you have gained, it is sufficient to accept his request. Let me know if you would fight again. I have lost. But this was no true contest. Jedi are skilled oh. warriors, and I am young. I will train very hard to match you in combat next time. But there are others already here who are more than your equal. Braylor is one of the mightiest among us. He could teach you humility. Oh. Oh. Here to watch a fight or to participate? After defeating Davril, you have gained some small honor. There is a challenger for you. He is Kex, the Quartermaster. Since he is the challenger, you get to choose the terms. Oh. The battle circle is for training. Oh. It is best to choose something that will test both of your limits. In this case, swords oh. would be a good choice. It is something neither one of you are completely familiar with, but the choice is ultimately yours to make. Ah. An honorable choice. I will send a runner to Kex. Your fight will begin shortly. <gasps> the match between Kex and Jedi is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. If you want to fight again, let me know. Or you don't want to fight or to participate. You choose to fight again. Now face a real Mandalorian warrior. Tagren, what are your terms? Just fist and foot like your fight with them. Nothing else. Tagren chooses to fight hand to hand. Remember. No weapons allowed, and absolutely no use of your force. between Jedi and Tagren is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. You have fought well today. The only Mandalorians left for you to fight are our champions. No one can fight a champion until they have proven themselves worthy. And it must be real proof. The kind you gain fighting foes to the death. And a champion must observe and deem your actions worthy. There are two champions in the camp, Braylor and Kelborn. Until you prove yourself in their eyes, the battle circle is closed to you. You have prowess in battle, this cannot be denied. But your Jedi teachings prevent you from having a true warrior spirit. Jedi couldn't have beaten us in the Mandalorian Wars. It took a fallen Jedi to gain that honor. So the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. You always had hidden strengths. Very hard for even the wisest Mandalore to judge and predict. I have studied much of the Jedi since our defeat. I would be honored to cross blades with you in the battle circle. I could only do that if I observed you fight an enemy in real combat. 
I have seen your matches so far, and I do not doubt your worthiness to face me. But the rules cannot be changed. The other champion, Kelborn, is in the jungle on a mission. Perhaps your paths will cross, and you'll have your opportunity there. Thank you. 